At present, we are experiencing dramatic climate change. We are getting massive amounts of rain, there are more hurricanes, and the risk of drought and flooding has increased. The weather is getting more extreme, and our large cities are very vulnerable. Think, for example, of the heavy rainfall that's begun to plague many Danish cities in recent years. Traffic stops, basements become filled with water, and businesses close for days. But it might not have to be this way. It's all about how we can adapt to the challenges of climate change and work with nature instead of against nature. By combining life sciences like biology, geology and environmental chemistry with landscape architecture and urban design, our goal is to develop both concepts and technologies for future sustainable and climate resilient cities, both in Denmark and internationally. This is one of the areas of research at the Department of Geosciences and Natural Resource Management. For the last 150 years, we have used sewers to drain off stormwater. But the sewer network cannot handle the tropical storms we see today. The question is then whether the sewers should be built larger, or whether it is possible to find room for the extra precipitation in the city's landscape, for example in parks and private gardens. This is a question we are exploring in our research. One can also think completely outside the box and design streets, squares, roofs and walls to allow the water to be there. If this can be done, it could be very valuable, as stormwater is a resource that can partner well with more greenery and better nature. In this way, life quality for city dwellers can be improved. By thinking infiltration and local management of stormwater, we can also make the city more resilient to drought simply by draining the stormwater into the groundwater under the city. When assessing whether a stormwater solution is a good solution, there are always three aspects to consider, namely water quantity, water quality, and water as part of the city. The amount of water is important. If there's too much, the city will drown, if there's too little, the city will be in drought. And with climate change, we don't know what is in store, maybe both. A robust solution is a solution that provides a good answer to both situations. Instead of only thinking about getting the stormwater out of the city as quickly as possible, it is smarter to retain the water and infiltrate it into the soil to form groundwater. Then we have the water in case of a drought and the nature and greenery in the city thrive better. However, it is not always easy to infiltrate water into clayey soil. East of the ice's main stationary line during the last ice age, the geology is typically very messy, with clay and sandy soil mixed together. This means that the storm water can infiltrate at some spot, but perhaps not a few meters away. A city can therefore tackle climate change smarter by having a detailed knowledge on its geology so that the water can be drained to the most effective infiltration sites. So we try to develop methods for mapping of geological heterogeneity and to design elements that enable rapid infiltration. In this way, adaptation to climate change can strengthen the recharging of groundwater below the city. But even with quick infiltration, you need room for the stormwater that always collects faster than the soil can absorb it. Therefore, we need to design the city so the water is delayed in its path. It is an interesting task because it sets the stage for rethinking the surfaces of the city. Green roofs that retain and evaporate the water and pavings and parking lots and sidewalks that allow water to seep through are promising alternatives that are becoming more and more widespread. Green roofs and permeable pavings can be further refined so that their function and design are even better. 
We can, however, also think even more innovatively. For example, we are developing a new kind of green noise barrier that can collect and evaporate stormwater from rooftops in addition to dampening traffic noise. Such a green screen is also expected to improve air quality and make the green area in front of the homes more attractive. The aim is to develop a module for a green climate screen that can be manufactured efficiently and at the same time is so beautiful that the residents will ask for it. In the long term, the aim is to also use the collected water to supply the buildings. As an example, the water could be used for flushing toilets. A sustainable city takes good care of its fresh water. Consumption per capita is low and the water it uses is returned back to nature in a clean form. It is therefore smart to think about water supply and environmental protection when adapting cities to climate change. When rain pours down over the city roofs and roads, it washes off all the filth that has accumulated since the last rain. Therefore, the quality may be too poor to let the stormwater seep down into the groundwater or to release it directly into streams and rivers. At the Department of Geosciences and Natural Resource Management, we have developed a cleaning technology for the purification of stormwater runoff from roads. During the cleaning, both the very fine particles in the water and the dissolved contaminants, such as heavy metals and pesticides, are removed. This transforms the muddy road water into clear and reusable water. The technique works by passing the dirty water through a system of horizontal layers that lie on top of each other and alternate between high and low porosity. We have dubbed this method dual porosity filtration. In the highly porous open layers, the dirty water is flowing forward and in the layers with low porosity, the pollution is captured. It is all driven by gravity and limestone and okra are used as filter materials. The clever thing about dual porosity filtration is that the filter doesn't get clogged. It is also smart that it is driven by gravity and no chemicals are added. The technique is patented and is being tested in various locations in Copenhagen and Aarhus. In Allerød municipality, a plant has been built for the treatment of stormwater from an urban area and here the goal is to provide water of such high quality that brown frogs and other threatened species can get a new habitat. The idea of finding other solutions to the extreme amounts of water instead of mindlessly continuing to expand the sewer network is a unique opportunity. Firstly, because the solutions based on a city's landscape can make the city resilient to opposing climate extremes, that is, both extreme precipitation and extreme heat and drought. Secondly, cities can be renewed at the same time and can be designed even better than they are now, with more green spaces, better bike paths, renewed courtyards, and much more. Thirdly, the solutions we develop may help societies in other parts of the world to move towards sustainability, creating cities that are better and greener places to live. <music>